What's up gamers? This is probably the most unique product I have reviewed to date. It's the Rocket Max AR glasses. These futuristic spectacles have quite a lot of use cases, including gaming, but do they actually work? And if so, why should you care? Well, that's what I hope to answer today. Let's get into it. The Max AR glasses are the latest from the Rocket lineup. They boast, and this is taken directly from their website, that they have a 50 degree FOV or field of view and a 215 inch borderless screen as seen from six meters away. So what does that mean exactly? Well, according to Wikipedia, which we all know is 100% accurate always, the human eye has a horizontal field of view of about 210 degrees when looking straight forward, your periphery vision. So 50 degrees would be narrowing that to about right here, which is essentially the same as what you would see looking at a computer screen at your desk or a big screen TV from your couch. And your perception of the space around you does matter here. For example, I wore these at my desk here in my YouTube nook and at my desk at work because I worked using these one day and the 215 inch screen fit inside my 32 inch monitor. Sitting on my couch, the 215 inch screen fit inside my 75 inch TV. However, if I looked out across a large open space, the screen looked huge. And then if I turned and looked at a wall at arm's length, the screen looked small. The screen didn't change sizes, but the depth perception around it changed. So in order to get that huge cinematic experience that you might want from these, whether you're playing a game, watching a movie, or working on a report, you need to be as far away as possible from whatever wall you're facing. These do come with blackout shades that snap on to the front of the glasses in order to block out more light and the environment around you. And I could see these being useful maybe if you're working outside in the sun or in a highly trafficked public space to keep the screen more visible with fewer distractions. But using them did not make the screen look like it was 215 inches big, at least not to my sight. It did make it appear bigger than staring at a wall right next to you though, so I'm glad that they're included in the box. This screen is actually two screens by the way, there's one for each eye. They have a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution, 120 hertz refresh rate with micro OLED technology and they have a 3D mode for viewing 3D movies. And I gotta say, it's very nice. The colors are saturated really well, things are very fluid and I tried a variety of things on here. I watched about half of Into the Spider-Verse which is a very colorful movie and it looks Looked and sounded great, but more on the sound in a minute. I worked on here as well. I did some word processing, some video editing, some web browsing and research all on these glasses. It's mostly a great experience. I will admit that sometimes text, especially small text, was a little difficult for me to read. And the closer something was to the edge of the screen, the blurrier it tended to be. However, I think that most of that is due to one of my eyes having a slight astigmatism and these don't correct for that. So I did have both my wife and my daughter test these while I asked them questions and they had no problems at all with any blurriness. So I really think that that was just me, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned it in case this might apply to you as well. My wife and daughter, by the way, both said, whoa, when they put these on. My wife pointed out how awesome they would be for when you're sick and you just want to lay in bed because you could just stare at the ceiling and watch a movie. And my daughter thought it was awesome because she had her own personal theater for a few minutes. One other thing I want to mention before I get into comfort, sound design, and gaming is that for those with myopia, this does have individual diopter adjustments for each eye. It ranges from 0.00D to negative 6.00 D, and you dial that in by rotating these knobs on the top of the glasses. And I think that's pretty cool and should help this appeal to a broader audience. I do have a suggestion for Rocket though. It would be great if once you set these dials, you could lock in that adjustment in some way because it is possible to move them when you're taking the glasses off or putting them on or whatever. Comfort wise, these are pretty good. They're heavier than normal sunglasses, but at only 75 grams, they're not too heavy. I wore them for two to three hours at a time in some cases.
cases and felt perfectly fine. The nose pads are padded well and they didn't slip much during usage. They also help the glasses sit higher and a little further away than normal glasses do. And I liked that because it left plenty of room for me to look underneath the frames and see whatever was in front of me. I could see my keyboard while I was typing. I could see my kids' toys in the floor as I moved through the house. I think that was a really smart choice and I welcome it. By contrast, the top of these are thick and you can see that change right here. <laughs> you see that slope. And that thick top sits against the brow and the bridge of the nose in a rather cozy fashion. Of course, it has to be thick because the housing for the displays and the components themselves are in there. But one thing I wish they would change is this. These produce some heat after a few minutes. Now, it's not going to burn you or anything like that, but they are warm. And the pinhole vents that they placed here actually face and sit against your brow. And that does make this whole area of your forehead sweat a little. At least it did mine. Now, it was never so uncomfortable that I had to take them off, but for some people it might be. And it's a little weird to feel that heat just concentrated to one small part of your face. I was, however, surprised by the sound of this device. It comes from these two downward firing speakers that are aimed directly at your ear canal. For anyone else in the room under normal room noise conditions, it's not disruptive at all. In fact, they might not even notice that you're listening to anything. I think you could even lay in bed bed next to your spouse and watch something while they slept peacefully. That's how quiet it is. And yet, to the viewer, every word is really crisp and clear. Music even sounds pretty good. It's definitely more powerful in the mid-range. There's no subwoofer on this thing. But you can hear some bassier tones, and overall, it's fairly balanced considering the size of the tech. I'm kind of an audio snob, but I could watch a movie or play a game and not complain about it. But, yes, there's a but, I did find that after an hour or so, there was something about the EQ that gave me ear fatigue. But everyone's ears are different, and mine get fatigued after long sessions on my studio monitors anyway, so you might not have a problem. Just try to keep the volume at level 3 maybe, or below, unless it's absolutely necessary for your own health and safety. Most of the time, I had it on level 1 and found that it was just fine. Now, gaming. Gaming is what this channel is really about. I mean, it's in the name, so if you like gaming tech news and reviews, please go ahead and subscribe and consider becoming a channel member. That would encourage me so much and I really appreciate it. There's a lot of gaming that can be done on these glasses as long as you have a way to connect your device to it over USB-C. For example, the iPhone 15 pops up almost immediately when you connect the two of them with the provided USB-C cable. If your computer has a USB-C display port, you can connect straight to these. I think the Steam Deck can connect straight to them. For other things like a gaming console, you'll need an HDMI to USB-C adapter for these to work. Also worth noting, the device draws power from whatever it's plugged into. It doesn't have its own battery or a separate charging cable. So be aware if you're plugging it into a battery powered device that your battery is now powering two things instead of one. Now I tested many different games from various genres and art styles, but I tried to pick games that had a lot of color. I really wanted to see how well this produced colors in motion and how the vibrance and saturation held up and I have to say everything looked so good so good so freaking good when I was playing Sonic Dream Team I thought forget the review let's just sit here and play this until it's over I mean every color was so rich Sonic was this beautifully vibrant blue the grass was a gorgeous green the crabs were a radical red and the blacks and Sayonara Wild Hearts were so deep. Oh my goodness. I mean, these glasses give you a fantastic OLED gaming experience for much cheaper than buying a big screen OLED TV. And like I said, I could leave the volume at level one, the lowest setting, and hear the game great without wearing earbuds or disturbing anyone else in my home. And that right there, that right there is why you should care about these. No product is completely perfect. And I've already mentioned some of the flaws that this has. Has, but the gaming experience is real. 120 hertz refresh rate, check. Beautifully vibrant OLED display with rich colors and deep blacks, check. On the go sound that is both discreet and leaves your ears free to hear the world around you, check. An amazing cinematic and gaming experience that you can throw into a purse or backpack and use on the go, check, check, and check. <laughs> 
I genuinely enjoyed my time with the Rocket Max AR glasses, and I think a lot of other people would too, given the chance. Maybe you want to watch a movie while you clean the house. You can walk around and do that. Maybe you want a bigger screen to take on the go with your Steam Deck. These are portable and come with a very nice, thick, sturdy case, by the way. I almost forgot to mention that. It's sitting right here. Maybe you prefer to work in a coffee shop but need to keep your documents and emails confidential. This allows you to do that. Maybe you live in a studio apartment and you don't have room for a big screen TV. These glasses can get you there and for hundreds even thousands of dollars cheaper because I got these on sale for $299. These glasses have Sony made micro OLED displays. And by comparison, the cheapest, I mean the cheapest Sony OLED TV on the market as of December 2023 at Best Buy is a 42 inch Bravia XR listed for $1,299. That's a thousand dollars more than these glasses. And these glasses can go where you go, unlike a TV and they have a sound bar built in. And when you begin to think about it from that perspective, that $300 sale price and even the $399 retail price seems a lot more reasonable. And that's why I have affiliate links in the description if you're interested. You can help support the channel at no added cost to you by clicking on those links. But that's just my two cents. What do you think about the Rocket Max AR glasses? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay kind and encouraging out there. And as always, I'll catch you on the flippity flip.